police officers from all around the country made their way to Massachusetts to pay their respects to a fallen state trooper. Look at that turnout right there. 34-year-old trooper Tamar Bucci was killed after a tanker truck hit her cruiser on a highway. Her classmates, a group of all-female troopers, served as her pallbearers today. Now, a group of state troopers from right here in Connecticut also made that trip today. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo has more on their sad but purposeful journey. There's something about a group of troopers in their dress uniforms on a morning like this. Buttons gleaming, not a hair out of place. That brings a sense of sadness. Obviously, it's something that we, we don't want to have to do, but once you do put the uniform on, it is a form of honor, and it's a way that we can show our respect um, to the greater good of this profession. No one could blame them for losing sight of that greater good as Connecticut State Troopers prepared to make the drive to Massachusetts for the funeral of one of their own. 34-year-old MSP Trooper Tamar Bucci killed last week on a Massachusetts highway while trying to change lanes and help a driver in a disabled vehicle. No violent confrontation, no harrowing chase, and still a life gone in the blink of an eye. Stopping for a disabled uh, motor vehicle is something that we all do um, each and every day. It's just a chilling reminder of the dangers of our job. You can see the long line of state trooper vehicles behind me. They were pulling in all morning. We're told 20 troopers in total were going to the services in Massachusetts. You know, you really get to know who that trooper was. Loading up and making the drive, a tradition of support these troopers will do now and on unfortunate days in the future. It's never an easy thing and it's something that as time goes on, they, they don't get easier. Knowing that while it's a privilege to put on the uniform, taking it off at the end of the day is never guaranteed. You never forget them. In Tolland, Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.